hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys we are going to fix the issue all the rams is not usable on your windows 10 11 and other version so let's start without wasting our time so first of all why you are getting this issue so there are multiple reasons behind this error but the first one you need to check the your hardware first okay you need to take out the memory card and then insert it again and do with the same if you have multiple slots so you can change the slots and this is the hardware level issue but in this video i'm going to show you the software issue so let's start sometime if window there is some issues with the setting so you are also getting this error as well so let's start to fix this issue first we need to go to windows search bar type a run or you can press window plus r button together click on ok and type for ms config and hit ok once you hit ok go to boot and then go to advanced options and from here we need to select the maximum processor here in my case i have already selected that and in the maximum memory if you have 4 gb ram this should be the number let me calculate the number one zero two four mb into one gb memory so let me into four in my case 1024 into 4 you can see 4096 i am using 4gb ram if you are using the 8gb ram into 8 you need to type for 8192 okay if you are using the 16gb ram you need to do the same calculation 1024 into 16 this is the result you need to type here okay then click on ok and then click on apply click on ok and exit without restart we will restart it later do some setting other okay so in the second method go to advanced options type here view advanced options click on that or you can press window plus r button tab Type as sysdm.cpl to shortcut access the advanced options of systems. Once you go through this option, go to setting. Again, go to advance. Click on change. And from the drop down, click on no paging file. Click on OK. If you are getting this option blur like this, you need to untick this option from here and then choose this option no paging side click on ok and click on apply click on ok and once now you need to restart your system and it should fix your issue if still not fix your issue we need to do some registry changes so go to search bar again type a registry editor run it as your administrator click on yes button when the prompt opens and now we need to navigate this path okay so we can directly copy this path like this i will give this path into my description box or you can manually you need to paste it then hit enter and you will directly go to this page okay once you go to this page you need to double click on the clear page file at shutdown double click on that and set its value to one okay click on one and then click on okay once you click on OK, it should fix your issue. After that, you just need to restart your system again and check if your issue is solved or not. If still not solved, we need to update our BIOS. BIOS is also very important in order to get the right input and output devices. So type here, I'm using the HP laptop. I need to type HP driver download. If you are using the other laptop like Lenovo and other system, you can type Lenovo driver download go to official website
and select a laptop or desktop i am selecting a laptop you need to put the here the sn key means serial key so go to cmd and run it as your administrator click on yes button when the prompt opens and type this command to get the serial key wmic space bios get serial number together like this and hit okay or hit enter now you need to put here the key and then click on submit option let me put here the key now i have clicked on submitted option here once you go to submitted option select your operating system select your version here click on submit go to all drivers and expand the bios and simply download the driver from here click on download and i will install it manually if you are using the older bios so you are also getting this error since the basic input and output devices is not connected properly now you can see the bios driver has been downloaded let me go to open it in the folder now you need to plug in the charger here okay plug in the charger then double click on the setup click on yes button when the prompt opens click on next accept terms and condition click on next next and i have already installed the latest bios in my system but i am showing you how to install the bios also plug in the charger before updating bios otherwise you will get the error so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech